Welcome back to Movie Synopsis. Today, I'm going to explain a movie named The Breed. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. At the beginning of the movie, we see a couple, who were enjoying the ocean on a boat. Then they see an island. So they move to the island. The husband was at the shore of the island taking care of the boat. And his wife goes alone to explore the island. After some time, a strange thing appears and eats her, and her husband hears her scream. After some days, we see two brothers, Matt and John, going to the same island with their friends on a seaplane to enjoy their vacation. The whole island was of their uncle, who had died recently. After reaching the island, they park their plane and go to their uncle's cabin. The next day when they were having fun in the water, they saw a very cute puppy. They take that puppy to their cabin. But after some time, that puppy runs out of the cabin. Seeing the puppy go out, Sarah and John follow him. The puppy sits in a place, and Sarah and John go to catch him. But suddenly, an aggressive dog attacks them and bites Sarah, but John somehow saves Sarah from that dog, and they both run to the cabin. Everyone thinks that the incident was normal and forgets about it. However, the following morning, while they were walking to the river, a man covered in blood appeared. He was the same individual who had arrived on the island with her wife at the beginning of the film. He tries to warn them to leave the island as soon as possible, but he is attacked by a group of violent dogs. The dogs start to eat the man in front of them. All of them got scared and ran to the cabin, but it was already late. Suddenly lots of violent dogs appear and follow them. Before entering the cabin, a dog grabs Nikki's leg and tries to pull her. Seeing it, John attacks that dog with an arrow, but his aim gets distracted and the arrow goes to Nikki's leg. But somehow they save Nikki from the dog and take her to the cabin. Everyone sees that they are surrounded by dogs everywhere. Now they decide to leave the island. But then they saw that the dogs had cut the rope tied to the seaplane, so the plane was flowing towards the ocean. Seeing the plane go, John jumps on the water and tries to go to the plane, but he sees that some of the violent dogs were also on the plane. The dog also sees John and jumps from the plane to attack John. But John somehow succeeds in getting out of the water and goes to the cabin. Now Sarah's behavior starts to change because of the dog's bite. No one had any idea what they would do now. Then they remember that their uncle has a training compound on the island, where they can call for help from the radio. To go to the compound, they ask Nikki to take the car out from the garage. When Nikki tries to start the car, the car doesn't get started. At the same time, the dogs also come there and try to kill Nikki. So Nikki had to run from there, leaving the car. After failing all of the ideas, they have a party at night to reduce their tension. Suddenly the light goes, the cabin is all dark, so Noah goes to the basement to check the power supply. But Noah was unaware that the basement was not safe. The dogs somehow make their way to the basement, and when Noah comes, they attack him and kill him. The dogs also find the way to go to the main cabin and attack everyone. Everyone was able to escape from there and went to the roof of the cabin. They find some papers on the roof which were of their uncles. They get to know that the island used to be an army camp, where they used to experiment on those dogs and train them. But due to some reason, the camp got closed, and the dogs started to rule the island. After knowing the reality of the island, Matt and John once again try to start the car. But this time, after some struggle they started the car. After starting the car, they go to receive Nikki and Sarah. When they arrive at the cabin, Nikki tells them that Sarah doesn't want to go with them. Hearing Nikki, John goes inside the cabin to take Sarah. But when they were talking, a dog came into the room. Seeing it, Sarah gets angry. Instead of running from there, she starts to fight the dog. During the fight, Sarah falls from the cabin and dies. After Sarah's death, mate John and Nick go to the compound. Arriving at the compound, they get to know that the antenna was disconnected from the power supply. John climbed a tower to give power supply to the antenna. In the communication room, Matt realizes that, if the dogs know how to run from that place, then they also should know to come inside. Outside, when John gives power to the antenna he feels an electric shock and falls from the tower. Seeing him fall, all the dogs attack him. But Matt comes there and attacks all of the dogs with a baseball bat. Due to a sudden power supply, a short circuit happens and the communication cabin catches fire. Nikki takes advantage of it and burns all the dogs inside. Due to the fire, a big blast happened on the compound so the dogs who were outside were silent for some time. At the same time, John tells Matt that he had seen a boat at the shore of the ocean, due to which they can still come out of the island. Then their eyes go to the dogs and they see that the dogs are coming back to their nature. Before the dogs do anything bad to them, Nikki comes to them in a car, without wasting any time, they sit in the car and leave. They take the car near the boat and jump on the water. 
by swimming, they go to the boat, and finally, they get succeed to get out of there alive, and the movie ends here. To watch more explanations of these kinds of movies, click on the videos on your screen. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.